I think there's always a little bit of an extra bite uh, when you played them so many times as a kid and I know there's a few lads I would have played against a load of times in the academy as well so there's always an extra bite when it comes to these sort of games. Zach, it doesn't seem a minute since we were talking in July at the resumption of the last season. Uh, so here you are nine games in, I think you've played every minute of every match. Um, how are things going for yourself? Yeah, good, good. Uh, the game time's been, been excellent. Um, I think it's been a good start to the season as well. Uh, so I think we're just we're just trying to snowball and and keep going. <laughs> a lot of games in a short space of time. How's the body shaping up when you play that many matches? Yeah, it's good. A few uh, few little niggles, but we're all right. You know, just little little aches, but we're we're all good. We're we're ready to go, and and whenever whenever called upon, we're ready to step up. Looking back to January, I think when you suffered your shoulder injury, did you think? Nine months on, you'd be starting for for Bristol City. I know, yeah, it's it's definitely it's definitely weird how how, how things happen. Um, but like I said, I'm I'm ready whenever whenever called upon. And and if an injury is going to bring me back and I uh, start playing, then I'll take it in my stride and and we'll go with it. But uh, it's been it's been great to get the the game time I've had this season and like you say, play play every minute. So it's it's been great. It's been a positive start for the team overall. Um, what would you put that down to? Um, I think it's been a bit of a momentum. We, we gained a bit of momentum early on in the season, and uh, I think there's, there's there's a backing and belief in the in the team that's uh, it's just kind of rolled on to the next game and the next game and the next game. I know there's that cliche in football of <laughs> don't look to the next game and whatever. We're just looking. We are literally just looking to the next game. So it is. We're not looking too far ahead, and uh, and I think we just got to keep rolling like I say with that momentum and, and keep pushing and keep building on, on performances I know the other night wasn't great but we want to put that behind us and, and go to Swansea with fresh minds and, and go again When you have a game like the Middlesbrough match and, and Dean called it a, 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 an off night um, you were, and you were second best um, do the days between finishing the game and the next match seem longer because you're itching to get it back out again? Yeah, the next day does feel a little bit longer, um, but I'd say after that you, you are looking to the next game, you can't dwell on it too much, you have to kind of do the meeting, work on what went wrong, put it right and train in and go again, so um, we do we do feel like it, <laughs> maybe, well I personally I feel like the next day does go longer after a defeat, but after that you just gotta, you gotta put it behind you and, and, and move forward and look forward to the next game and I think we do that well, everyone gets around each other and just kind of moves forward there's no there's no kind of dwelling there's no uh kind of negative vibe at all you just kind of you just got to move forward and, and keep it positive and keep rolling as a an academy player you would have gone across the bridge many a time to play the likes of cardiff and, and swansea uh, if you as a player um do those kind of games give you a kind of a, an extra incentive as it were yeah, I think there's always a little bit of an extra bite uh, when you played them so many times as a kid and you've always gone back and forth and, and you kind of, I know there's a few lads I would have played against a load of times in the academy as well, so there's always an extra bite when it comes to these sort of games. And how do you see the challenges just once you obviously we've got, the, got Corey Smith a player you know very well, um, what are you expecting from Swansea? I mean we know they're a good team, they've got good quality, um, we're also a team that wants to impose ourselves on the game and, and work on us and fo focus on us um, so I feel like there are going to be some threats that we have to nullify but if we play our game and, and do what we do best when we are on it I think we're, uh, we're a good team and we're going we're gonna to be able to get three points and like you say about Corey it would be good to play against him but he's our friend but when it comes to Saturday he's not our friend you know so it's, and he's going to be thinking the same thing so it'll be good to see him though. It is a game which the fans love as well and sadly they can't be in watching us uh, they'll be watching on Robins TV do you kind of the more we play without supporters um, do you feel any distance from or do you, do you still sense that they're, they're kind of right behind us watching on Robins TV no there's, I don't think there's any distance I don't feel that like we feel distant from them obviously it's been a long time without them in the stadium and that is dreadful <laughs> but um, it, it is there's no kind of feel of they're not backing us anymore because they're not there. We still feel the back through social media and like you say on the Robins TV and channel and we, uh, we still definitely feel like there's a strong backing behind us this season and, and uh, we feel like they're there with us every step of the way and hopefully we'll get them back soon.